Hey, what's up guys? Haven't seen you for a while. Maybe we should show some improv or maybe we should show some behind the scenes improv. Ready? Three, two, one. Well, oh, that's good. How's it going? All right. Nervous? Nervous? Yeah. Uh, camera guys over there. All right, let's take a look at this thing. That's pretty exciting. All right, so we got the scripts here. <laughs> really good ones. <laughs> At the back, we got this laser disc machine. Look at that. How old is this thing? Criss Cross Romantic Moments Classical Music for Lovers. Nude and Rude, the best of Iggy Pop. That one might be alright. Insert coins. So at this point in time, there was no toonie, so it was like a loony or five dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of cool too with the crowd that we have, like the improv guys, because it's kind of casual. So I would be happy to review some of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I got loaded. So where's Jason? He's doing VH1. Oh yeah. Would you want some fighting or something? If you could. How dare you steal my thunder, bitch! Well, we gotta save some of that for later. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is my scene. I wrote this. This, got, this place is big enough for two divas, bitch. <laughs> okay, we got but some I don't know why really. I'm speaking, because he wants to be the diva. Oh, that was good. And I'm not okay with that. Look, you want me to read your script or not? Yes, goddammit. Okay, fine. Man, this is so realistic. Like, I don't even know if it's real or not. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a trash job of this. What do you think? A trash job. There you go. Is that is that intense? Fantastic. Highs and lows. Can Can I ask you a few oh, questions, God. Zach? Just one question. Um, oh, who's your like? Which actor gives you the most inspiration? Oh gosh. C a r o e. Uh, the most inspiration I would have to say is uh, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any movie in particular? Uh, um, Meet the Fockers. Oh, because um, my inspiration is Ben Stiller. Same same movie. What? Oh my Christ. Okay, Caro. Same question for I you. I just watched The Graduate last night, and I realized how timeless that movie is, and how hilarious. And uh, Dustin Hoffman is like the perfect kind of non-traditional actor to gain fame. He's not a handsome guy, not tall, but he just was so good that he uh, became no, a big name. And that's what's cool about that. Fantastic. Okay, great. And how about you? <laughs> uh, so if I could do a hack, I'm going to say the people in the improv group that I'm a part of. Because it's just so cool to see people cut loose and just like, I, it encourages me to step out. So that's going to be my hack. I'm actually not going to pick a Hollywood actor. Hey, which improv group is this? Uh, this is uh, Brian's improv group, which is it called? Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's uh, have we Vancouver, have, BC. Have we been in the same one before? Yes. All right. <laughs> well, two weeks ago. All right, two weeks ago. Yeah, okay. That, that one then, right. All right. Uh, do you have a favorite actor or actress? Uh, I would say Brad Pitt. I really like to talk to uh, once upon a time in Hollywood. Excellent. Okay, great. Thank you very much. How about you, Bola? Um, uh, pretty much for me, anything Denzel Washington is in. Nice. Denzel I mean, Washington. Just <laughs> basically, any, just watching him is the movie, right? All right. Any favorite? Like that one Train, word? Training Day. Training Day. Oh, oh that's goodness. a good one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Training Day and, and Man so on Fire. Important. Man on Fire. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, the one I remember is Deja Vu. Is that one? Yeah, Deja Vu. And then the other one with... Um, the, he's getting so, the equalizer or something? Oh, yeah, the equalizer, yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah. These guys look busy. All right. Hey, Phil, how's it going? Good, good. All right, so we're here today in... Um, Santa works well, sure and I just got a question for you who's your favorite actor uh, favorite actor is Woody Harrelson and uh, I thought he was really good in Cheers and I had no idea that he would be such a good actor from watching Cheers fantastic okay thank you very much awesome. thank you. okay uh, hey Glenn how's it going good thanks all right so um, we've asked a bunch of people here who their favorite actor is and how about you I will go with Gene Hackman as my favorite, so. and particularly in his role in Scarecrow. Okay, Fantastic. Are there any other actresses? Uh, I like uh, Emma. I haven't lied to you. I told you about the people I've slept with. Emma Roberts? No. Um, the one from Harry Potter? No. No. In um, Emma Stone? No. Oh, what the? In. Uh, yeah. Stranger than fiction. Come and in Howard's come. end. Otis. Yeah. I'm blanking. So many, apparently. <laughs> okay, Glenn, um what what brings you here today? Uh just uh, I enjoy it having fun doing a little bit of practice. All right. Look forward to doing some scenes together. I can't think. Every novel I've had, every novel I've had published in every language I've had. Hey Dave, how's it going? I'm doing okay, how are you? Pretty good. So, uh, what brings you here today? Um, I'm interested in reading some scripts, seeing how it goes and helping people out, you know, with the filming and the acting. Do you have any experience in acting? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. So, um, that first time I met you, was that the first time you came out? I've been to the improv acting course for, I've probably done 10 sessions. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, who do you think, like, the actors here impresses you the most? Well, obviously you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously. Clearly. Yeah, I mean, I've got to keep up my brown nosing. I've been doing it all day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's really good at it. What do you think about the person holding the camera? Uh, she's wonderful, beautiful, stunning. Yeah. Okay. So, uh... What's the next movie we're gonna film in there? Um, we've got so many scripts, I can't remember them all. So I'm just gonna like mix and match my lines and ruin them. Yeah. So are you just gonna wing them? Or are you just gonna read them like <laughs> word for word? Uh, I'll read them, yeah, with a little bit of flair. Okay, so no paper? Paper in hand. Paper yeah. in hand. Yeah, I can't, I can't just improv. So I'll give you an example. Hello, my name is Dave. I'm thinking of having it about this close okay. to my face and then just peeking once in a while. Okay, thanks very much for the interview. Hey, it's my pleasure. Peace. At least that way he would know. He would have to walk around knowing that someone knew the, the truth. The purpose of therapy is to help someone change. Not That's just what I'm saying. People like him don't want to change. They just want to know how much they can get away Stop! with. Stop! This always happens when we talk seriously about my work. We don't talk seriously. Exactly, either. because you treat me like I'm this okay. ridiculous person, which does not make me feel good or loved. 
Okay. Or every time you talk about therapy or money, you get revenue. Money. You start getting yes, like tonight. When Tim started talking about his upbringing, you did the exact same thing you used to do when Adam would talk about growing up on the Upper East Side or going to Horace Mann. Yes, you turned out. You oh, did. Oh, sorry, no. This isn't for this. This is the, uh, the Why did you hold the out Hey, Phil. Not yourself. Isn't that exactly I'm a custodial right. provider. Yeah. Uh, okay.